to Buffalo, man, you uh, you have to see some tweets uh, that that came out of this entire fiasco. <laughs> the Feast of Bacchus <laughs> by Phillips de Conic. Conic? However you want to say That's it. Right. Back in 19 yeah. or 1654, it looks like uh, you got some chubby little fat guy uh, doing these. <laughs> I mean, the resemblance pose. is uncanny. It's uncanny. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a pretty good yeah. side by side. Um, so apparently it's not the first person to do this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> His work is getting the attention of the NFL, the Kelsey brothers. LJ Raider is the man behind the viral account, Art But Make It Sports, where he takes viral sports moments and pairs them <laughs> with real life paintings and statues and artwork. And LJ joins us now. Good morning. Morning. This is fascinating. How did you start this? And do you find this, the sports image first and then find the art or is it the other way around? Yeah, so I have a lot of art kind of banked from going to museums and taking photos and kind of just falling into Wikipedia wormholes, looking at <laughs> art. And oftentimes moments will go viral in the wow. sports world and I'll try to recall kind of what image uh, corresponds with it. <laughs> We're scrolling through these pretty quickly, but maybe we can just... I don't know if we can slowly pull them up one at a time. How about photo oh, of Dwayne Wade and LeBron James dunk? Let's look at that one. Well, there's Dwayne Wade. And what is he paired with here? Yeah, so this is a version of the assumption. Um, I think probably one of the more <clears throat> iconic NBA photos. So uh, a lot of the times I'll do uh, sports images of events that are happening live, but uh, this one uh, is, is so uh, legendary that kind of went back into the archives and, and found something for it. You mentioned your recall. I'd, I'd like to ask you a little bit more about that, because I'm sure there, there are times where you see a picture and you're kind of stumped and can't think of some artwork for it. How long does it normally take you to find a corresponding piece of art that works with a picture? Yeah, so uh, people tag me in a lot of images. The account is become pretty popular now, yeah. which is exciting, but also overwhelming. Um, I'll try, if it's just, you know, like Taylor Swift chugging a beer during the Super Bowl, you kind of have to do that, um, just because everybody was talking about it. Uh, <laughs> Look at this one. I'll, Come on, this Taylor Swift one chugging funny. the beer is oh, amazing. Oh, that's good, too. Taylor, Taylor's been good for business, for sure. Um, <laughs> oh, but, my God. These are amazing. Yeah, a lot of the times, it's kind of immediate if it's something that I just sort of know off the bat. Um, and then sometimes it's recognize like here, uh, recognizing a theme in art history yeah. and then trying to figure out what the, the one that fits best is. Yeah, you thought going to all those art museums was a big waste of time. And now you've made something of it. Let's look at Luca and uh, Chicago native Jalen Brunson. I think we have that picture here. Uh, there it is. Oh my God. Yeah, so I think this moment uh, was going going viral or making the rounds the other day and uh, figured uh, it was something that, especially as a Knicks fan, uh, that I uh, should try to do. And uh, I guess Christ uh, giving St. Peter's Peter the keys and or picking St. Peter up uh, in this case and trying to get uh, Jokic's face in the background to, to <laughs> match. You know, I... I notice a lot of these are, are uh, religious artworks, and I'm wondering if social media being what it is, if you get any, you know, criticism or people accusing you of blasphemy. Not really. I think people are pretty uh, understanding or realize that, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not making the comparison at a religious level and more just at the, the visual level. I do get a lot of, uh, uh, maybe not criticism, but accusations of, of using AI. So that's that's sort <laughs> oh, of what I, what I try to fight off uh, at the moment. Yeah. So uh, are you a bigger sports fan or a bigger art fan? I mean, how which which came first, the chicken or the egg here? Yeah, so I actually work in sports, uh, and I thought I was a bigger sports fan than art fan, but uh, having started this account and seeing the community that's grown around it, uh, I think a lot of those folks are... Sports fans first, uh, but have yeah. now become art fans. So cool. uh, I guess they kind of look to me as, as sort of this art expert, whereas a lot of what I know is, is sort of just self-taught. So hopefully the account kind of inspires people to go to museums yeah. on their own and, and digest art themselves. Yeah, one more quick one. Scotty Barnes, let's take a look at that one from the All-Star Game, see what you came <laughs> up with there. Just go yeah, through. so I was uh, uh, holding oh on. Wow. <laughs> 
Yeah, I took this photo at a, a museum in uh, in Munich uh, and figured it'd come in handy one day. I yeah. think in the past I had used it. Um, there was a, a viral moment years and years ago of uh, A.J. Hawk. Uh, his sister had the half A.J. Hawk, half uh, Brady Quinn jersey that I, I think yeah. I used this for. Figured the, the sort of waistline on, on Scotty and the, the colors worked well here. So. And we had another one of Victor Wembanyama. I always pronounce it wrong. Help me out, Patrick. Wembanyama. Yeah. I just go with Wemby. Uh, yeah, let's I see this one. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's great. What are the odds of that? They're really great. This is just a, it's a great account. You could check it out more at uh, art, but make it sports.com. And you can see more of LJ's work by following him on social media. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you. Thanks, LJ. Thanks, Thanks for having me.